Welcome back to lesson two of this course titled How to Build Your Own Artist Website. If you know already a little bit about uh, websites, this is an absolutely essential lesson. You can, you can skip it, but I highly recommend if you've ever asked, where does my website live exactly? Where does a website live? What's a web host? What exactly is a domain name? And also, what's this thing called WordPress? So if you've ever asked any of those questions, then you're in the right place. Uh, you may want to stick around anyway because it's pretty short and it's a good sort of uh, primer on, you know, what is a website. An easy way to understand your website is it's kind of like a house. So we'll use a house as kind of our analogy when I talk about what your website is like. Your web host, in other words, Bluehost, HostGator, uh, all these kinds of things you may have heard of. You see their ads all the time for hosting your website. That's called a web host. And your web host is like your location on the web. And it provides all the stuff your, quote, house, your website needs. Not just the location, it's on a server somewhere, but all the utilities, all of the functionality. There are, there are regular backups that are, if it's a good web host, which the one I recommend is, uh, they do regular backups, they do maintenance. If things are down, then they'll bring them back up. There's a support uh, number you can call. If you have any problems, it just, it's basically like the city, you know, they take care of all the infrastructure of your place on the web. Bluehost is an example of a web host. That's the one I recommend. And on the right there, you know, you can see that's what, like what a data center, that's not theirs exactly, but that's, that's what that looks like. It's lots and lots of computers. It's in a climate controlled environment. People take care of it. If you have your own computer, my computer at my house does not look like that. Okay. So I trust a, a place like this that's set up to, to host my website. And so your domain, let's talk about domain name. That's the www.whatever.com or .org. Uh, those are all different kinds of domain names. Uh, if you have something like .ru or .eu or .au, those, are, uh, those extensions are country extensions. So AU is Australia, so, so on and so forth. Um, so that is like your street address and your street, just like your street address uh, basically has a directory in the yellow pages, your domain name is lives in a domain registry. So, you know, if my site, microartist.com, it's in a, it's in a registry, I pay an annual fee. It's not that much. It's about $14 a year to, uh, to have that registered as my domain name. And uh, so that is the place, and it's important to pick a domain name that's very memorable and that people will understand, and it has your branding, your name, and also it's not too long. With Bluehost, you'll get a free domain name as part of your the cost. So typically, sometimes those two are different things. They're not packaged together. In this case, it is. It's packaged together. Now, what is WordPress? Well, word, there's WordPress.com and WordPress.org right? You can have a free website on wordpress.com. Uh, but that is sort of like, uh, Weebly. It's like, uh, uh, what were those others? GeoCities is not around anymore, but it's like they, they host it for you. WordPress, the CMS, the content management platform, that's a big word, but it's basically just means it's like the structure it provides the structure of your website. Uh, WordPress it, it's a free, it's freeware basically. So it's a, it's a collection of people that have come together at web professionals and they maintain this product called WordPress and you can download it for free. It's con constantly updated and it's like the underlying structure of your house. It provides the, the server provides all of the physical aspects of hosting your site. WordPress provides the underlying structure of your actual website. Here's what words press looks like the dashboard. You have this dashboard over here where you can, uh, you can look at your posts, you can update things and stuff like that. And then on the right there, it's what a, a site actually looks like. So you may have heard of things like HTML, CSS, PHP, JavaScript. These are sort of languages or scripting languages that, that do different things with websites. HTML and CSS determine how the site looks more or less. PHP, JavaScript, it determines how it functions, but you don't need any of that. That's already kind of 
you've got this content management platform already built in WordPress. So you don't need any of that. All you need is WordPress. And I'll show you in the next lesson how to install that step by step. So WordPress also, it powers approximately 25% of all websites. And this is according to W3 Techs. Just in 2015, they did a, a comprehensive survey and determined that uh, out of all the different CMS uh, platforms that people use, WordPress as powers a great deal of those. So you may have heard about WordPress theme. Well, WordPress by itself has a default look to it. The one on the right there is an example of one, but you may want to extend how your site looks with a theme and themes can, you know, you can, there are deluxe premium themes and there are free themes. There are all kinds of themes. We'll use a free theme. I'll, it's a basic theme, but it basically determines how your house, the way your house looks. And these are some examples of some art gallery themes, which as artists, we're going to be looking at uh, how to display our work. So uh, these are just some examples of those. And the one I'm going to show you looks something like this. So when you have your host, your domain name, and your WordPress theme all in place, then your house is basically ready. Going back to the house analogy, it's all ready to move in and you can decorate it however you like. You can put your furniture in, arrange it, put stuff on the walls, uh, do color schemes, whatever you need to do to actually you know, build your house, or I'm sorry, not build your house, but decorate your house, make it livable, make it you, make it uh, something that people look at and say, this is you, this is something that you brands you with your business. And the best part of having your own self-hosted website and how to build this is that you can get all the things we talked about. You can get the domain, the host set up, WordPress installed, and even a theme installed and you can do all that in less than seven minutes. If you don't believe me, then stay tuned because I'm going to walk through exactly how to do that. Um, and as I mentioned before, I, I use Bluehost and I highly recommend Bluehost. I should mention I'm an affiliate for Bluehost. So if at all, you know, if you feel some benefit from this lesson, then I would really appreciate it if you use my affiliate link. This is my affiliate link. If you type this in, then I get, you know, I get a little credit for recommending you to Bluehost. And as I said, I, I've used this on all, these are examples of all my sites, some of my websites, uh, both personal sites and so, as well as sites for clients that I've put together. Every one of them is hosted on Bluehost. And I, I really vouch for their professionalism, for their service, for uh, the abilities that they have to take care of all of your web hosting needs. And of course, if you have any questions about it, definitely email me, mike at artistmyth.com. But, uh, but yeah, I'd appreciate your support if you use that affiliate link as just a thank you for this free course that I'm providing. Um, or not, you know, you don't have to. <laughs> There's absolutely no restriction. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if you didn't use it. So in the next course, we're going to go step by step in setting up your website in seven minutes. And this is really exciting. And I do hope you stay tuned and watch, watch this next lesson coming up.